Okay guys, here I am on board of the Surom Storm B in places where I usually do not go with other motorcycles but with this one I can go anywhere I want because it is so special and so good it goes over everything Woo! I just have to be careful if there is uh, people or animals on these areas I don't want to bump into them but bes uh, besides that it's just give it throttle and see it run like no other and here I am on the top let's go over to this side and this beautiful storm bee can go all over the places I can enjoy this beautiful sceneries, this beautiful routes without major issues so I can go this side here this is the place where I usually do a little bit off-road near my house, I do, live, I do live nearby here let me see, no one coming, no animals so we can go down a little bit throttle yeah! <laughs> rear brake sliding the way I like it now so let's go this side here point the, the front go here I don't have to worry with uh, gears it's just throttle and brakes and there she goes wow amazing super cool super fun very easy to ride this beautiful uh, Suron let's go this way here and we can go here let's go this is why we have this storm bee or I have this storm bee right now so I can go with all on all, all over these places look at this terrain here go 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 dun 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 she doesn't mind she goes everywhere and now we give it throttle and we're gonna have fun with this beautiful 10, 10 kilowatts engine which delivers something around uh, uh, 13 horsepower it is uh, the top speed or the, the maximum power that it can deliver well it's not the maximum because we are riding now in eco mode but I can change this to sport mode and once I change it to sport mode there is a little button here on this side where you can see here it says tur turbo which basically means for a short period of time I think it's 10 to 15 seconds if you press this button you have 32 horsepower available for you and that is something that it is really uh, amazing about this beautiful storm bee maybe no one coming so instead of going there we go this way here <laughs> because I can of course let's go it gives me so much confidence with these tires and everything to go a little bit faster than I usually go off-road I don't want to push it too much also because uh, I forgot my knee protections if I fall down I don't have those protections uh, I knew when I when I was dressing up something was missing and uh, now uh, I realize what it is then go here and go it can do this thing so good look at this power look at the power of this Woo! <sighs> let's go let's go amazing amazing standing up sitting down whatever whatever position you want to ride it you can ride it it is super cool super fun and definitely a really interesting uh, electric motorcycle Woohoo! yes <laughs> let's go let's go look at me acting like crazy like I'm a professional which I'm not and it, usually it's when something happens when you're trying to show off but I'm not trying to show off I'm, it looks that I'm going fast 
actually I am going fast <laughs> compared to my normal speed but I feel that everything it's uh, under control okay I can control the motorcycle the, the handle or the, uh, the handlebar is so light so agile I just point and it goes it's super amazing guys wow where, where am I where am I where am I where am I okay I'm back here again on the top let's go this way now no one coming no wow 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 oh my god what a machine what a machine this is much fun than the little brothers the the light B wow super fun this one I can go here uh, look the animals are over there I don't know if you can see we have some cows over there we have a big cow here look let me see I'll go slow so you guys can see it she's over there okay so we have animals here and you have a few more over there on that side so I have to be careful just enjoying this beautiful wow <laughs> let's go let's go here there here go turn 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 go 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 up 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 is the way <laughs> okay guys this is what I wanted to show you I really hope that you like this uh, presentation I'm just gonna find a place where I can show you the specs and I'll be right back And here I am on this spot where I actually do my off-road near my house to show you the Storm B, the electric off-road motorcycle and this is really an amazing motorcycle. I have the pleasure of also uh, staying with it for a few days so I took it to my to home I do my normal uh, commute to work so I could test the range and the batteries and all that stuff so I did 22 kilometers and it drained 25% battery of course I did all this on the most uh, on, the, on the sport mode which is the the one which the, the has the more power uh, it's the one that I would I would need to use to go to commute to work because I like to go a little bit on the on the fun side talking about modes you know you have echo rain sport and a little turbo or a little boost mode to give you a little bit extra power for a few seconds that I will talk to you uh, in a while it's a very in very interesting uh, very interesting motorcycle as you saw I had a lot of fun riding here uh, off-road with it and since we are talking about range and everything the batteries it's the Eon batteries 104 volts 55 amps it gives you a range of 120 kilometers so I have less I say about realistically 80 kilometers 85 kilometers uh, that's the range I have with this motorcycle on my riding uh, style to charge this just plug it to the wall there's a socket over there it takes around four hours to charge so it's nothing uh, nothing much and this, the engine is a 10 kilowatt engine uh, which gives you uh, around 13 horsepower which is super cool uh, and then like I said you do have this boost that whenever you need for shorter periods it releases like I think it's 20 kilowatts which doubles the power but it's just for a short a short period just for you to have a little bit more fun having said this let's start with the specs where we do have everything here LED lights and turn signals which is good really high fender so you can do off-road with, without having worried about the, the mud upside down suspension 40, 47 millimeters with a course 290 millimeters one disc 270 millimeters with clippers with two pistons ABS and to complete all this front set we do have these spoke rims 21 uh, inches that comes with this beautiful off-road tires they have really they are really nice it's the CST dimensions 80 slash 100 
and now looking at the rear of the motorcycle so we do have the seat it's a off-road enduro kind of seat it's okay uh, lights everything it's LED suspension with a course of 290 millimeters one dish 240 millimeters with clippers with two pistons and of course we do have the ABS the transmission you have a really nice uh, thick chain over there and the set it's all complete here with this spoke rim the 18 inches on the rear the same off-road tires the CST dimensions 100 slash 90 and now we're gonna talk about the elephant in the room if you guys been paying attention which is this uh, charger that I have here on the on the on the, my seat on the back of my seat it's a really big charger for this motorcycle and it's very easy to lose track of uh, your battery while you are having fun uh, off-road so personally I decide to find this contraption with the spider web and cables and a bit here just in case I need to park somewhere charge it and uh, at least have charge to go uh, to go home it's here because on my bag which is this one which I always carry my, when I have my filming gear it does it doesn't have any space for a big charger uh, like this uh, other things total weight of this motorcycle 130 kilograms so it is light it is agile and it's uh, more important it is easy to pick up if you do fall down and of course with when you are off-road the prob probability of falling down it's much bigger than you when you are uh, uh, on the road other things here on the handlebars I'm gonna show you right now so looking at it there are some things that are I already mentioned while you are riding first of all we do have here on the rear brake a little a little uh, gadget or contraption where it's uh, the brake park you just press this lever lever down release and right now the motorcycle has the braking park on so if you if you park on a uphill or downhill it will not uh, move to release it just press here and this latch goes off and now you can move your motorcycle whenever you want things here we do have the ASR button and the turbo button and I'm gonna show you how to uh, change the levels of the control tra traction control so for that we do connect the motorcycle look I do like this key is very interesting I like the key it's very beautiful the key and we have here ASR with three levels so we press this button here and press twice here and look level one level two and level three a1 a2 and a3 and basically this is how you change the traction control pressing this one and two clicks here two clicks here and two clicks here again we do have here the riding mode as you can see echo so there rain and sport the boost when you are on sport you see that the turbo it's a little thing that shows the only appears when you are on sport mode again this button when you are pressed alone it's the reverse so you just have to press it and give it throttle and you move back again press and move back basically this is it once you release it it's back to go forward and this is how everything works here this is what I wanted to, to show you I really hope that you like this presentation of this beautiful Suron I'm I had fun I'm gonna keep having fun with it and if you like my channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the notification bell to see my future videos follow my other networks leave your comments down below and I really hope I can see you in the next one bye